we are so lucky because we are doing so poorly at managing our health and our families and our communities and our lives and our world because of our government and our school indoctrination system into the military industrial complex and the religious institutions that are our leaders but aren't actually showing us how to be healthy and how to take care of each other. We're so lucky that we're doing so poorly. We're so lucky we have so much disease and that we're causing it ourselves and we're letting each other do it to ourselves and that we can see disease and suffering and inequities and crime and poverty and starvation and people with medical needs that could easily be solved that aren't being solved and we can see how bad we're doing we can see how much suffering is going on so we know that if our leaders aren't helping us fix those things they're not the leaders we want to follow we know that if we're not doing everything we can to take care of ourselves and support each other and doing the same that we could be doing so much more and that if we don't have good leaders 11 out of 12 of us are followers one for the 12 are gonna be leaders so if we're not following leaders that are really giving us that kind of support then we know we're not following the right leaders. And it's that simple. Our issue is leaders and followers. Our issue is getting followers to follow leaders who will actually lead them to pursue healthy lifestyles, take care of themselves and their loved ones, and be working towards something outside of government, religion, and the education indoctrination system of the military industrial complex, etc. cetera, that's, that's causing us so much harm, that's divided and conquered so successfully that we're all polarized, blaming each other, proclaiming what we think the solution would be and scapegoating those who are preventing it from happening. But we're the solution and we can all make it happen. We need leaders who will lead us into ways that will bring us forward and help us get healthy. We are lucky because we're seeing how bad it is. That tells us that what we're doing is wrong. It's not the direction to go. So it tells us find a new direction. Keep finding a direction until you find one that feels so right that you see the results. People are getting better. Communities are getting stronger. More food is being grown. Less money is being given to the military industrial complex and the corporate system. Less harm is being caused because less chemicals are being consumed and slathered on the body and breathed in the air. And more people are following ways that are just simpler, healthier, more natural that align with this natural body we've been given. We've only been given the one. Those leaders are our answer and they're gonna point this out. And if they say the problem is them or the problem is that thing, then they're not your leaders. If they say the problem is we need to help you and support you in getting healthy, being successful, networking well, having good relationships, building strong community that support each other and work towards the big greater good of getting us all off of government, military industrial, uh, education system of indoctrination and the religious divisiveness. And it doesn't mean anyone has to give up their religious beliefs. Have your beliefs. Everyone is free to believe whatever they want. Pray to whomever you want. But find leaders that aren't representing some entity that is against other entities and find leaders that are not trying to make money for one entity or the other entity. And that's the key. That's who you want to go to. When those people teach you, teach us, how to do things that are healthy and support others and help bigger things for the world, we'll know we're on the right track because we'll see the world improving. Right now, the world is not good. We had an interview with Annie Sampson, a blues singer, and she said, the world is going in a low way. She's so right, and we all know this in our heart. We see it. Everyone around us is suffering. Yeah. Everyone over 70 has cancer, heart disease, or diabetes at least, if not more. They're all on medication, and that's how you'll know. If anyone is on medication, they're on medication because they're sick, and then there's a 90% chance they did it to themselves with the help and support and peer pressure of the culture and the community and the tribe and family around them. 